Hello, my name is Amy Erko and welcome to my channel. Today is my 17th anniversary and I am using the Huda Beauty palette to create this look for our dinner. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, I'd stay like tuned. With a little more flawless look for this evening, so we're going to use the Marc Jacobs. This one is in the color 26 Bisque Medium. Recognized finally what my eyes are allergic to with the skincare products. So you can see today my eyes are a little bit puffy. Um, they kind of burn actually. So I've had, I've na I narrowed it down to two different products and now I definitely know which one is creating my eyes to be really, really puffy and sore. I'm going to go in with the sh sharp tape shape, as I always say, tart shape tape. And we're going to try to hide some of that swelling, which I did end up putting ice on my eyes to see if that would help so they don't feel as blistered, so to speak. I think my lighting's slightly off on this side because it's really towards early evening and so I'm getting that sun over here so I tried to offset it with some lighting over here it's not quite working that way all right so we're gonna go in with our favorite Cody air spun next we're gonna grab the hula light bronzer We're going to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. Let's see if we can't define these eyebrows. I think tomorrow I'm going to get brave and try the Just For Men and color my eyebrows. Watched enough tutorials, I think I'm not afraid. Until I actually go try it, that is. Then we're going to set those little eyebrows with the Brow Gal. I think I am going to go in with my MAC Warm Soul, which is a really pretty color. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to take the color L'Oreal Color Riche in Toffee as our lip liner. My aunt got me hooked on this lip liner. Hello, Aunt Lori. Everyone should have an Aunt Lori. She is an absolute blast. And if I'm going to get in trouble with anyone on the face of the earth, it's her. We just seem to bring out each other's fun. Now I'm going to use the color Bombshell from Huda Beauty. And I wish more companies would come out with these little lippies. I'd rather have them this size so that I can have them in more colors. But I just actually like these because you can throw them in your purse really easy. These kind of have a vanilla smell. These are a little bit more watery than I would have anticipated. So we're going to see how these dry down and hopefully they don't like shift down as they're drying. That would be no bueno. I actually haven't used this palette in a while and I don't know where it was so I went ahead and ordered it again because I heard that this was going to go out of stock very soon so I plan on using this today or tonight for the anniversary look and then I plan on doing um, seeing what kind of dupes Makeup Geek has with these so that if you are devastated that you're not going to be able to get your hands on this again that at least you have some Makeup Geek alternatives because Makeup Geek has enough colors that really she can dupe everything. Okay, so we're going to use this color here, Shy. Very, very pretty color. Okay, so that's a really pretty, maybe light mauve-ish color. I'm going to next go in and darken the crease up with a color here called Bossy. <laughs> For a 17th anniversary video, that's kind of funny. I might be a little bossy on occasion, only when he really needs it. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. God bless him for being married to me for 17 years. I'm not quite sure how he's managed that one. Other than sometimes, the X's can make you look great. Okay, this color Bossy is really, really pretty. I hate that I misplaced the other palette in my move. I'm glad that I picked this back up before it goes out and will no longer be available for purchase. Picking up a nice clean fluffy brush and we're going to go back over and smooth out any of my harsh lines. I want to go a little bit deeper with those tones and so I'm going to pick up Maneater which is this reddish color. So many jokes, so little time. Okay, we're going to press that on the outside and kind of work it in. And as I go up, I'm just kind of blending it in and not necessarily pressing a whole lot of, I'm not pressing and putting a whole lot of pressure on. I can't speak. And the reason is, is it just kind of helps fade and diffuse as you work your way up. And that just gives kind of a really um, deep pink type look. I'm going to switch for a moment and carve out my eye because I want to do kind of a faded look using two of her textured shadows. So we're going to give it a clean slate for those textured shadows to pop off of. And I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot. For me, I'm lifting my brows a little bit to kind of smooth out my wrinkles. And then that way I get it in the right spot. But again, my eyes are really kind of swollen still. So that's not fun. And that little brush isn't fun. It's not being nice to me. I needed one that was a little more dense as far as the brush goes instead of fluffy. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This side doesn't seem as swollen as the other one. I'm going to use this dense flat brush. It's a mini concealer and that's actually from the Makeup Geek. I'm going to take some Angelic Next I'm going to do next to the Angelic just a tiny transition strip with the color Rose Gold And then we're going to take that final color and blend it into the color Fling I'm going to go back to the rose gold color, which was the middle of the two. The next color I'm going to pick up is this color here called Black Truffle. I'm going to pick this back up, and the first color we used, Shy, I'm going to add that a little bit to that clean brush. And we're going to go right over that black truffle to soften any harsh lines. Underneath the brow bone, we will pick up some bay, and that might not be light enough. So we are going to pick up the tart, and this color here, and this color here called Solstice is my favorite for really light. We're going to dab that in the inner corner. I'm going to pick up this color here from Catrice and it is a long lasting eye pencil and it's New Kids on the Block. Now that we got that in place, I'm going to pick up an angled flat brush, go back in with that black called Black Truffle. And then anything that I lost on the edge, I'm going to pick back up my mini concealer brush with the rose gold and maybe mixing a little bit of that lighter color angelic. Okay, before we place the false eyelashes on, now you can see the sun starting to go down. I'm going to grab my Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. It's really tough to do lighting at this time of day.
Okay, so I've got the wild big 80s hairdo that my husband absolutely loves. So we went really big. Um, this is as close as I can get it to look like it's permed because he did love those 80s with the big permed hair. So now we're gonna go surprise him with my final look. Thank you so much for watching the video today, creating my 17th anniversary dinner look with the hubs. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.